I'm Dave Daly for KaiserStrong.com and we're here today with Kaiser Fire Chief Jeff Cowan and we're going to feature one of our uh, apparatuses here that make up Kaiser Fire. Well we have three ambulances. The primary ambulance, the first out ambulance is Medic 35. Then the next out ambulance is Medic 36. We're on a county ambulance numbering system. So this is Medic 37. It's our spare medic unit. It's our oldest medic unit and it's a 1999 Freightliner ambulance. And the role of this ambulance is to back up the other two medic units or ambulances. And the medic units, are what, we rotate them like shoes so that you're able to wear them evenly and so that the first out ambulance doesn't get worn out too fast. We bring it to second out and then the third out. So this is our reserve ambulance. Gotcha. And we understand it's, it's um, mostly maintained by volunteers. It is, and it's uh, been staffed by volunteers, but during the daytime, if we have enough paramedic staff, then we staff the medic unit, uh, the third out medic unit, we rotate our staff around, depending on what our calls are. So Chief Cowan, how many calls does our crew go on in a day or a month? Well, here at Kaiser Fire District, we run 11 and a half calls a day, and just under 4,000 calls a year. And when you look at that on a chart, it, it means that 90% of our ambulance calls is, is what we run, are all ambulance calls. And fire calls, we run one fire call every fourth day. So mm. we'll run 40 ambulance calls and then run one fire call four days later. And so we run about 62 fire calls and about 3,960 EMS calls. Wow, so almost 4,000 calls. I think we're gonna see the condition of this uh, third unit has, has seen some wear and tear it has. in serving our community. Let's look at it. Yeah, this is a 1999 Freightliner chassis ambulance. It is a medic unit that is designed to be advanced life support. It has a crew of two paramedic personnel that ride up front here and they respond to 911 EMS emergencies. And so this engine, uh, what's the mileage on it and wh what's the condition of it? Mileage is, is really kind of an interesting factor. Um, we put about 20,000 miles a year on our first out ambulance, but that's somewhat deceiving because folks will tell you in the maintenance world, it's not about mileage, <laughs> it's about hours. And the hours that you put on the ambulance, on the unit, the engine, the transmission, and things like that is a whole different number. It's more like 40,000 miles because of the hours we put on the ambulance. Kaiser's only 10 square miles, mm -hmm. so your mileage of 20,000 miles won't reflect the number of hours that that unit was on scene, standing by, engine running, mm -hmm. transmission turning, generating power to allow the paramedics to work in the back of the ambulance. So a good number is about 20,000 miles, but if you take the hours, it's 40,000 miles. Well, this unit has uh, served uh, calls for decades it seems like you know there's wear on this seat there's wear on the uh, area in here and so it's been put through its uses and as I understand it th this mechanism up here where the the engine goes is a different part than this part back here that protects the community is that right absolutely the the module back here of the box carries all of our equipment and things that the firefighters need in order to do their job so this first compartment here is all about our bunker gear because our firefighters are dual role firefighters. They are paramedics and firefighters. Now remember, we run 4,000 calls a day, a year, 11 calls a day. You just mm. don't know what the next call is gonna be. So we may run 11 EMS calls today and 11 EMS calls tomorrow. And over the course of four days, mm. one of those is gonna be a fire call. And our crews need to be ready. And since they're dual role, they need to be firefighters. They can pack up with their SCBA, their, their breathing apparatus, bunker up in their gear, and walk up next mm -hmm. to a fire engine, pull a hose, and go in and fight fire. Wow, and you know, even though this uh, engine side of it is, is coming to its end of its economic life, right. the technology we have to protect the community is state of the art. Is that correct, Chief? It is, and we've had good support here in Kaiser for our equipment program and, and for our paramedic personnel. And um, our turnout gear and everything is state of the art. This ambulance is a 1999 Freightliner, and yes, it's 15 years old. It has all of the equipment that are all state of the art, but the problem is it's 15 years old, and it's <laughs> old in hours and, and old in years, too, and it's ready for its next replacement. Yeah, take us through some of the technology segments that we don't always notice as these are racing down uh, the streets of our community. 
There's expensive investment into the technology, is it not? There is. Let me show you some of the things here, just simply the gurney. David, you asked me about some of the technology that we're employing here at Kaiser Fire District. And this is our striker power cot. And it is a really nifty piece of equipment because this cot is hydraulic electronic powered. It's powered like a DeWalt battery like you would use for your cordless drill at home and it has an 18 volt battery and it's powered. So right now it's powering down. David go ahead and mm. have a seat. Okay. Put your feet on and here we go. Now David I'm doing that all with one thumb mm. and one hand and as you can imagine, Americans are changing. And as we get bigger and bigger people, this cot can lift a 700 pound person. Mm. No problem just using this DeWalt ambulance battery for the cot itself. And this power battery allows firefighters to save their backs. Now people will ask, how, how much does something like it cost? Now this is about $10,000 using mm. round numbers. But if you have one back injury, and those of you that have ever had a back injury know that it costs a whole lot more than $10,000. And this is the kind of technology we're using to save firefighters back and save their career and have mm -hmm. longer terms of service just by employing a piece of equipment like that as part of our technology.